the components required for this experiment are ESP32 board, PAR motion sensor, connecting wires and connecting cable. Now log into the Blink.Cloud website. Then go to Developer Zone. Here click on New Template. Here we need to give a template name. Theft Alert Notification using ESP32. And select the hardware as ESP32 and connection type as Wi-Fi. Then click on the Done button. Here we now need to create any data stream. Now go to events and notifications and click on create event. So here we need to create a new event. In the program we gave the event name as theft underscore alert. So we need to give the same event name in blink. Copy this and paste here. And also we need to give a description. And now here select one second. And also enable this button, show event in notifications section of the mobile app. And also enable send event to timeline. Then go to notifications menu and enable the notifications. And here select email to device owner and also push notifications to device owner. And enable the deliver push notifications as alerts. Also we need to enable the notifications management. Now click on the create button. Now save the template. Now go to devices. And here click on new device and then select from template. Here we can see the template which we created. Now select the template and click on the create button. So here we got the template ID, template name and authentication token. Copy this and paste in the program. And then enter the Wi-Fi username and Wi-Fi password. Now we can upload the program to the ESP32 board. Here the board is selected. So if you want to select the change the board. So go to this drop down and click on the edit button. So here we are using ESP32 dev module. So select that and click on the OK button. Now click this arrow button and upload the program to the ESP32 board. Now the program is successfully uploaded to the ESP32 board. We can also check the output in the email.